Into the Wind presents the George Peters Square Flyer Kite in two great colour schemes, this prairie here and Mission, both equally attractive. The kite comes in a durable case, you'll find some instructions tucked inside and you'll find the spine rod is already installed in the kite. Take the crossbar Push it through the bottom of one of the side sleeves. Then it goes through the loop in the bridle line. Then open up that fabric loop in the center. Push the rod through there. And you'll find there's another bridle loop on the other side there. Make sure it goes through that and then into the top of the sleeve on the other side, out through there and you can then tuck the end of it into the pocket on the corner of the sail and go to the other side and do the same thing there. And that's all you have to do. So just check when you've done it that the spar is going through all of those points, especially the two bridle loops and the fabric loop in the center. Now to tie on your line you should have a loop at the end of your line, put your finger and thumb in, double it over to make a double loop or lark's head knot. Pop the toe point through there and pull it tight. If you want you can use a fishing swivel instead, it's up to you. We're doing a long line, long line launch here because there wasn't a lot of wind. If you need to do a long line launch you can get a friend to hold the kite while you walk back and pull it into the air. The kite flies very well in a lively fashion. The tails make it quite stable and easy to handle. But if you're an expert with fighter kites or even you want to learn you can take off the tails and use this as a very good fighter kite. Either way whatever you do it's going to be a lot of fun and whether you choose the mission or the prairie designs you're going to have a great kite here from George Peters and Into the Wind.